back to Maple Madness. I'm Kate Boddicker. And I'm Isaac Swatsky. March Madness is in full swing and there's been nothing but action so far. We'll take a look at some of the most exciting games, unexpected results, who GC has winning it all, and an update on the competition between Isaac and I. So Isaac, what do you think the most exciting games of the tournaments have been so far? For me, there are four games that are heads and shoulders above the rest. The weekend started off strong Thursday afternoon when Furman upset Virginia in dramatic fashion. Next, the game that most people would probably say is their favorite would be Farley Dickinson upsetting Purdue, the second ever one seed to lose to a 16 seed. I think a game with maybe a more exciting ending would be Florida Atlantic beating Memphis. This game had everything needed for exciting basketball. There was pace, it was back and forth, players were just making plays, and of course, a huge bonus, there was a buzzer beater. In the round of 32, FIU played FDU. Although Florida Atlantic pulled ahead late in the second, this game was super exciting with lots of back and forth basketball. It is safe to say that Tobin Anderson and Farley Dickinson have won over the hearts of America. I agree, the Purdue FDU game was crazy. I was watching it live and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I didn't have them winning, but I think they were a common favorite among Goshen students. So let's take a look at who campus seems to be rooting for. So who do you want to win March Madness this year? Notre Dame. Who do you think is going to win March Madness this year? I have really, uh, I think, uh, what's that one team? Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. They have uh, their, their logos like the the dog or whatever they have like the the red and black you know what, do you, which team oh, you gotta help me out here Kate I forgot I forgot I really don't know what you're talking about Don uh, I'm so okay. sorry but the people at home know what team that team is gonna do really good Texas University of Texas <laughs> who do you think will win March Madness I like narrow narrow Carolina North Carolina North Carolina is looking good. What if I told you they didn't make it? North Carolina! Woo! Who do you think will win March Madness? Purdue. Boiler up. I'm saying UCLA, gotta rep Cali teams, you know how it is. Go Bruins! Woo! Uh, I think it's gonna be the Lakers. Like, I know nothing about uh, basketball, but I think the Lakers have a shot, you know? Did you make a bracket this year? I did not. I did not make a bracket. Should I? You're useless to me. Yes, you should make a bracket. And you should watch Maple Madness. Why, why should I make a bracket? To find out. Because it's fun. And March Madness is fun. And it's entertaining. But, okay, you can <laughs> But I don't want to. Thanks, everyone who shared. There were definitely some interesting picks in there. Some definitely have more of a chance of winning than others. But we shall see. So bringing you back to our competition, how have your predictions been so far? My glow bracket is not in a terrible spot, besides having my national champion out. On the bright side, I have two Final Four teams left, both of which are probably favorites to come out of their region. The Big 12 really let me down with only two teams advancing to the second weekend. When it comes to my bracket, Louisiana fell to Tennessee in the first round, so that obviously wasn't ideal. All of my Final Four teams are out already, so maybe syllables wasn't necessarily the way to go. Though, Isaac, you lost Kansas, so that was good for me. So, who exactly did they lose to again? It's a sensitive topic. You didn't have to bring this up, Kate. <laughs> Seriously, though, congratulations to Arkansas. They capitalized off Jayhawk mistakes in the second half. They put themselves in a good spot to win, and sure enough, they did. So, what I'm hearing is, though, even though I'm losing by quite a lot, I did win this round, especially since you doubted them in your initial predictions. I wouldn't say I doubted them, I just said it would be tough, and quite frankly, it was tough. If Kansas executes a little better, rebounds some more down the stretch, we're talking about how the Jayhawks have a real chance of repeating for national champions. So play obviously continues with the Sweet 16 soon. What are the games that you don't want to miss, in your opinion? All the games should, of course, be really good this coming week. I think UCLA versus Gonzaga is a really good one. But in my opinion, the game that I'm most looking forward to seeing this coming week is Miami versus Houston. Both teams have coaching legends in Jim Laranega and Kelvin Sampson. Elite guard play, Miami with Nigel Pack and ACC Player of the Year, Isaiah Wong. Houston has future first round pick Marcus Sasser and Jamal Shedd. Both teams were in the Elite Eight and are hungry to be back. The game is going to be back and forth and it will be intense. 
Well, the tournament continues this week with many more exciting games on the way. We will be back next week with one more look at the tournament progress before the finals on the 3rd. We're going to check our bracket progress and see if any of our Globe Pals are still in the running. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll see you next week for even more Maple Madness.